I drank a glass and then blew professionally into an ill-prepared horn. When I awoke, I discovered to my surprise that I had backed up the tar-flavored jello shit upon to the tasteful modern interior. What of the Zen aesthetics? Gone, forgotten, stained by leaky intestinal fallout. Later, the crisp white sheets returned. What easy desire to leave that place. I drove off looking back. When I returned from a convoluted path, I found them dead. Woodblock sword fight broke and the sticks could only tamp and hide more blades. It was unsuccessful on my part so I became a stooge wearing a pig-eared allied mat. Oh, they laughed and laughed. What a switch to panorama. And meow. They piled up on the bus and when I jumped up I realized I had left a hoodie behind. There, an older stage producer approached me about filming an adaptation of Magnolia. Look out for that CV, he said and I agreed. The job couldn't come soon enough but I need my hoodie first. When I got to the truck finally I realized how damn on my chest the hoodie already was. No wonder I was so sweaty. Turn around. No bam and then fuck it is gone. The bus is gone. The length was reduced to a yellow cab. Another bus was only a flat faces from. Perhaps it was the female connector to the male plug. Left in the concrete desert, I roamed with an office chair only, casually until I reached an oasis of frustration. The scream matched the ill-prepared horn, and the chair bounced unaffected from my toss. Hiding, I listened to Foxygen. When I took off the headphones, I could see another person letting me know how mediocre they were. Maybe so, but I think they have potential. Those with potential should maybe just be patient.